Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Took a little bit of break, didn't film the last few days. I actually did get some clips, not of yesterday, but of the day before. So I'm gonna enter those in actually right here just so I can throw those in um, and then we'll move forward with today's vlog. So here's that. Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Can't believe it's already the 18th and I feel like everybody always says that in their vlogmas is like, I can't believe it's this day, I can't believe it's that. But like seriously, Christmas is a week from today. Mind blown. I feel a little bit crummy this morning. Unfortunately, my stomach has been hurting. Not like t nauseous, but I, I don't know if it's something I ate last night or what, but ever since last night, I have been feeling my stomach has just felt really off. Um, so I'm just kind of taking it easy today, drinking a lot of water, eating lighter foods. So hopefully that feels better. And then I'm gonna start to pack today because we leave for vacation on Wednesday. And then I also wanna redo my nails again because I'm just not digging the gold sparkles. It kind of just makes my nails look yellow tinted in the certain lights. So we're gonna figure something else out for that. So my nail station is set up once again. Um, I decided I'm gonna go with this blue color. It's just this dark blue. I feel like it's just like a nice wintry blue. So hopefully that turns out good. I got the top and base coats. Gotta do my cuticles and do some filing. I thought while I would do this, if I can breathe through it because I'm pregnant and I cannot breathe very good. Um, but I thought while I did this, I'm gonna do a little like heart to heart just because I feel like I've had so much on my mind recently. Um, but I just wanted to talk about like what God's doing in my life because I'm just like in awe about everything. So I just wanted to share it. Um, so I'm gonna take off what I currently have on my nails right now, which is probably isn't the best way, healthiest way for my nails. I'm just peeling them off but it's the simplest way and um, yeah, I don't have patience. So I'm gonna do that while I talk and paint. So ever since I um, got serious about praying in my war room, if you've never watched the movie War Room, I'm gonna plug it every time I talk about my war room because it's just special. But there's a movie called War Room, look it up, it's amazing. And that's what inspired me to create this war room. Basically, it's a, a prayer closet. It's just something really special to me and I feel like it helps grow my relationship with god i started this back when we were living in california just to try it out and it's actually crazy how much god started answering prayers just from praying in my prayer closet and the bible talks about it how we need to get alone with god in a secret place when i started doing that in california i started noticing a huge change in my prayer life and my overall just like relationship with god things just started getting a lot stronger um I saw him answering a lot more prayers and it's just crazy to me and so I was like I'm gonna obviously keep doing this because it's just awesome um you know I had I used that prayer closet I went in there in times of joy to thank the Lord I went in there in times of sorrow to cry out to the Lord like when I had my miscarriage I specifically remember the morning that I had my miscarriage I was all by myself and I crawled I literally crawled from the bathroom to my prayer closet on my knees because I was so nauseous um, and I did not feel good. And I just cried out to God. And in that moment, like he really reached down and gave me peace over everything. Um, so just overall to say that the prayer closet has been a really special place to me. And as soon as we moved in this house, I was like, one of the requirements is our house must have a closet to where I can have a prayer closet. Like it has to be like a walk-in, doesn't have to be huge, but at least somewhere where I can do my prayer time because it's really important to me. So we, we did get that thankfully and it's a little crowded in there, but I would say within the last month, maybe even a little less than that is when I've started to really pray more in there. Uh, I had been praying a lot in the prayer closet about like my, my passion and my fire to come back because I missed that. And obviously I want to be someone who God uses and someone who shares God's word and that's what we're called to do we share the gospel and and so I had been praying really hard recently in my prayer closet just for that passion that desire I had felt like something was like missing um and it's just crazy like he answers prayers and it just like I shouldn't be shocked because he says he will you know he's God and it's just like I'm in awe of like how much he's been answering prayer there's just so many things, um, but most importantly, it's just like my fire and my zeal for the Lord has come back and it's come back so much stronger. And 
it's just been really awesome. I've prayed a lot of prayers in there recently and some of them have already been coming into fruition. Some of them I know will, but I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm literally going, I go in there and I literally fight for people on my knees. People, not only do I go in there and just pray for my needs, but I pray for everybody, honestly. I pray for all of my friends and all of my family and I literally go to war for those people. And I just like stay in there and I just like, you know, I just give it all to God. And it's just been awesome of like results and stuff. And another thing I had been praying about lately is my joy to be brought back because I felt like I was kind of stagnant and obviously being pregnant, there's a lot of hormones and emotions that come with that. And I just felt like my joy was kind of not there anymore. And I was like, God, like, I just need to feel your joy and um, I want to feel your presence. And within the last like two weeks, like I've said, maybe even in the last week, I have been waking up every single morning and I have been so joyful. But God is what makes you truly joyful, which is lasting. And I just have been waking up so joyful and so like thankful and have such a grateful heart for literally everything in my life. And not everything's perfect. Like I'm really, it's really truly not. It may like, maybe it seems to some people like it is, it's not. There's definitely things in our life that are not perfect that I don't share, but even in the midst of that, God's faithfulness. It doesn't change how good God is. My joy has come back. I've been so on fire, so joyful. It's been amazing. And I just I just wanted to share that with somebody. If you're having struggles like that, um, I don't know. I just feel like finding a quiet place. If you don't have a closet, find somewhere. Get alone in your car or anywhere that you can get alone with God in a room um, and do intimate prayer and Bible reading with him. I just highly recommend you do that because it is seriously a game changer. The closer you are to God, the more you're gonna be able to hear his voice. I kinda just wanted to share my heart on that. I'm just in a really good place right now with God and I'm trying to lean closer to him. That means putting away all worldly distractions. And here's the thing, a lot of people are always like, I just can't do the whole rule thing. Like, I don't wanna be a rule, I don't wanna just have to follow all these rules and like, my life is not gonna be fun anymore. I can't do this, can't do that. But guys, when you're in Christ, it's truly like, it's not like that. It's not like, oh, I have to follow all these rules. It's like, I get to do these things for Jesus. Like your heart posture truly changes. You become a new creation in Christ. Your desires will shift. You won't wanna do those things anymore. I have no, literally no desire in me to do anything worldly anymore because it never brought me any satisfaction. Only Jesus has and I've learned that. And so anything of this world, I'm really turned off by, to be honest. Like I personally don't, I don't listen to any secular music really. Everyone can have their own take on that. But just personally, I don't have a desire for that anymore. And I just know how it skews my relationship with God when I do. Um, I don't drink. I don't smoke, obviously. I don't cuss. I don't watch anything that I couldn't picture myself with God sitting next to me watching on the screen and knowing that he wouldn't be okay with it. I just don't do that. Anything that goes against his word in the Bible that's showed on screen, I'm not going to be entertained by that. That's not of God. And it's you can call it legalism. You can call it what you want. But no, it's just a truly a desire. My desires have changed. And I want to be as close to God as possible and as pleasing to God. And I just know personally it brings the most fulfillment. I just urge you to get alone with God. He answers prayers. He will be faithful. You just have to trust. Sometimes it takes time. It's not always in our time or our way, but he will be faithful. And yeah, I hope this encouraged someone. I'm gonna get back to doing my nails. It's taking forever actually, because I did a really thin coat, so it's not coming off very easily. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this cutting board, which is so cute. One of my mom's friends um, actually has her own Etsy shop, and she made this. She had this lasered in, and I just think it's so cute, and she did it. She soaked it in mineral oil so I can use it for food or just decor, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to use it as decor. But I love it so much. It's so cute. And then also, just says our first Christmas as Mr. and Mrs. West, which is accurate. So crazy. It's our first Christmas married and first Christmas with the baby in the belly. But I'm going to leave her Etsy shop in the description as well. If you want to check out her Etsy shop, she makes really cool things. So I'll leave that down below. Okay, we're caught up. Um, it is the 20th of December. Today, I am coming to you from my prayer closet. I've been in here for a little while now and I just didn't feel like leaving. So 
here we are as you can tell that's why there's clothes and the lighting is terrible i'm sorry about it but um i just wanted to kind of run you guys through what the day is gonna look like so like i said today's the 20th tomorrow we are actually leaving to go we are driving to head to arizona so we're driving we're not going to be getting to leave until around five o'clock because that's when adam's going to get home from work so we're actually going to leave at five o'clock drive for eight hours probably get to a hotel around one in the morning in el paso and then we're gonna wake up at like five o'clock the next morning drive the rest of the way to arizona i'm really excited because they just got a new puppy oh i'm so excited it's a surprise for my brother it's a christmas present she's so cute i'm so excited to meet her and um they have another boxer this is a boxer my family has another boxer so it's a little playmate for her and i know winnie will absolutely adore her lila probably will not but it'll be fun i'm excited to go and then from there i think the 28th we are going to washington so starting tomorrow we're gonna be gone for a while vlogmas is almost coming to an end so it's like i want to stick strong to these last few days of filming but today is kind of a get things together get things done sort of day so i made a to-do list on my phone so i was going to run you through kind of what my um to-do list is so on my to-do list i have i have shower get ready we can check that off because i just did that um start the vlog just did that i want to paint my toenails it's really random i need to clean the house i hate when you go on vacation and leave your house a mess and come back and it's messy it's just like the most unsatisfying feeling so i want to make sure the house is clean it is actually pretty messy right now i'm not gonna lie it's kind of messy i i don't have an excuse it's just messy right now I have not cleaned it I've just been hmm. and then we need to I need to finish packing I started packing yesterday I got all of my outfits picked out but I have to do all the other little annoying stuff like toiletries shoes all that stuff when Adam gets home we need to clean out the car because right now we are in a rental car we've been in a rental car for like six months I think how long no how long has it been no it's been like four or five months I don't really remember that we've been in a rental car long long story short but our car is currently in california they had to wait on a part to come in which took that long um so they provided a rental car obviously we had to move within that time span but our car is now finally done so as soon as we get to arizona adam is driving to california to pick up our car and we're swip swapping so we want to get this car cleaned out there's a lot going on guys and then i want to hang sh our shelves we got new shelves for the guest bathroom that i want to put and decorate in there we need to get air in the tires i need to do my i already did my quiet time so i'm going to check that off and that's kind of my to-do list today so these are all the clothes that i tried on this morning okay the bed needs made i need to put my pregnancy pillow away the dogs got into a target bag and chewed that up it's just an, it's not there's clothes everywhere and then these are clothes that i need to hang up there on top of the suitcase and then i was like packing so this room needs cleaned this is real life the rug needs fixed because it's crooked and then the kitchen is like the thing i hate cleaning the kitchen and this is really messy okay this is bad so we're gonna do a catch-up day with cleaning we're gonna clean the kitchen the living room it's a mess we've been using this box the one that i got adam for christmas with his gym mats in it as a table which has been nice but it is not cute and then the dogs always like stomp all over the couch so it's, it's just it's a mess okay okay so my battery was charging while i was cleaning because it was dying so i didn't get to do montage but i'll just show you guys as i go from room to room what it looks like but basically everything's pretty much pretty much clean except for adam has some clothes over there um and like i said this is stuff i'm dealing with right now this laying is very terrible it's time to pack my toiletries so i went to the store yesterday yesterday yeah it was yesterday and i bought some miniatures mini shampoos all that sort of stuff to bring since we're going to be on a plane and it's just so much easier to travel with and i'm not trying to bring a whole bunch of stuff my clothes already fit my huge suitcase because it's winter clothes and so it takes up a lot more room and i still have a lot more to pack so i just have this this is my toiletry bag this is all i'm bringing um and i have some miniatures so i picked up a miniature shampoo and conditioner so we're gonna put that in the bag also got a miniature body lotion because i can't do without body lotion it's a must for me 
a mini body wash, a mini face cream, mini Vaseline, some makeup remover wipes, and then this is actually a great purpose, a great time to use this. If you watched my vlog where I did the unboxing of the baby box that I got, it came with a sample of stretch mark cream and oil, and so that way I don't have to bring my glass, this glass jar, um, with me. I'm just gonna bring this and use this sample. So I got everything in here, and then I just have to put my toothbrush, toothpaste, and a couple of, oh, I need to get a razor. Got a razor. I also went to the store and got some more gummy prenatals because once again, I don't want to bring my huge glass jar of my liquid ones. They're almost out, that one is almost out anyways. So just restocking with that. Okay, so my next little project that I just finished, um, I forgot to add this to the to-do list actually, but it kind of goes along with packing. I just put all the gifts that were under the tree that are for family in these bags. And then I have some more up here. Um, so this way you can just load it into the car. Our tree looks so bare now. It's so sad that when we come back, we're gonna take all this down. That's depressing. Also, these are the shelves that are gonna go up in the guest room. They look like this. There's three of them. They look cute. And these two little jars to go on top. Just little like mason jars that are glass and have this little yarn bow. And I'm gonna put Q-tips and bath salts at two of them and I think it'll look really cute. Okay, that's cute. I like that. So here's the bath salts. Here are the, I almost said toothpicks. Ear cleaners. What are these called? Q-tips. Goodness. I think they look really cute. Where are we at? Going crazy. We're at the dog park. The dogs are going crazy. They need to get out of here. It's kind of a nice day today. It doesn't feel too cold. It's nice and sunny. So we were like, we need to get the dogs out of the house before we're about to have them in a car for two days. So they're excited to be out here. You find a cone? Oh, she's gonna poop on the cone. <laughs> Pete. Package, which is really exciting. Um, I am affiliated with Liquid IV. If you've never heard of Liquid IV, they're amazing. It's basically an electrolyte drink mix. That it's like a packet of powder you put in a the water. There's a lot of great things about Liquid IV. It hydrates you. It is uh, 2 to 2.5 times faster hydration than water alone. 3 times the electrolytes, 5 essential vitamins, great taste. Basically it hydrates you really fast and it tastes good and there's a lot of vitamins in it. Um, so they have like a regular kind and then they also have immunity, which I'm really pumped about this. We got this one in. Um, they're letting me try the mixed berry flavor for this. We're going to bring these on our trip with us, but I do have a code. I'll leave it on the screen. I don't remember what it is on the top of my head, but I think you can get like 15 to 20% off if you use my code here and I'll leave it down below, but you guys should try it liquid IV because they're the best. All right. We got the shelves up. This is what they're looking like. Now we've got to decorate them somehow. I don't really know how. So, where should we put them? I added this plant and this plant. I don't know, it's obviously still not set. And then I separated these, and then Adam had the idea to put this like, um, fairy light little garland in here. That's what it looks like with the light off, that's cute. For the toilet paper, so we're leaving that. But we're gonna play around with it some more and I'll update you when it's like, finalized all right so it is the end of the night i'm gonna be ending the vlog here i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm getting sad looking at our christmas tree because this is our last night that we get to light all of our lights because as soon as we come back from vacation it's gonna all come down and that's really sad i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog and i hope you enjoyed good night